Hey guys, what's happening? So, I had a small issue with my uh, thermal take power supply, 700 watt power supply, and the actual power supply is fine. But for some reason, this one doesn't come with a 3.3 volt rail, the orange wire, so I can't power my Corsair pump. So I'm not new to Corsair power supplies. I have this HX 1200, and I love the modular power supplies. You know, the less cords, the better. Since I was in the market now for a new power supply, I decided to get this RGB Corsair 750. Normally, I never used to really be in the bling, but it's kind of cool with the LEDs. But really, for the price, it, it was cheaper than the actual, like, the uh, more expensive, like, RM series. Um, but it seemed like it was cool. You, you still have the modularity of the more expensive power supplies. And I kind of like that, as I said, I don't like having extra wires. If you're not using the wire, you don't have to connect it to your computer to have extra wires sitting around everywhere. So that's one of the benefits of having a modular power supply. But like I said, this one actually has the LEDs, you know, and your typical Corsair modular plugs. And then uh, there should be like an LED button here in the back. So we'll get it going. Like I said, I'm kind of bummed, you know, like I said, it was stupid that they cheaped out. Yeah, I mean, there'd be no other reason except for being cheap why they didn't add that 3.3 volt uh, rail on the SATA connector. So at the same time, um, I'm gonna remove some of this extra stuff I don't use to give better airflow, like this extra shroud right here. So, yeah, I was saying with the modular plugs, you don't actually have to hide all these extra wires that you're not gonna use. All right, so I'm gonna keep this as a backup power supply, but that is just really ridiculous that they're, they're, they don't have the fifth wire, <laughs> the 3.3 volt rail. So, I basically just spent $100. Um, I guess I could have rewired this power supply, but just because I want to be able to have the LED on my, my uh, Corsair, the Hydro Series pump. Okay, so I could mount this two different ways. I could actually mount it this way, or I could mount it this way. But I kind of thought it would be kind of cool to see the, uh, the LEDs on the top. So, the, because the fan is positioned this way, that means it's going to be sucking air in this way, and it's going to be going out the back vents here. So it's going to be actually drawing hot air from the case and sucking out the back. If I have it in this direction. If I have it flipped around, it's going to be the opposite. I don't know if I mentioned so. this, but sorry about the background noise. I'm always printing something. Alright, so, but this is actually a motherboard. It's an Asus Z97 4th uh, Gen Core i7. I don't actually have an RGB controller on the motherboard. So, if you actually had an RGB controller, or even actually like the IQ setup, you could actually run it off here and actually control the RGB from the motherboard or your IQ software. But I'm just going to be using the, the, the button here in the back. And that's how I'm going to change the uh, colors. So I mainly crypto mine with this thing. So I don't really, I mean, I do video editing, obviously. And I do uh, mainly 3D modeling. But I actually run this, I, I actually undervolt this thing to about 130 to 140 watts. So really, I could actually share the connection I want to do. But because I actually have the extra cable, I'm just going to run individuals. Hey, and the good news is I have five wires. 3.3 volts. Let's get this thing in Tesco. Now the wire is gone. Yay! Got some light. Yeah, that's kind of a odd thing, you know. You don't really see power supplies that, that are missing the 3.3 volt rail. So there's the RGB. All right, cool. Actually, I'm gonna lower this fan down here. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. So if you don't have an RGB controller, you just have to basically hit these buttons. It's kind of a headache. You have to hold down and then kind of go through and yeah, it took me about 10 minutes to figure it out, but yeah, I just wanted solid blue. Alright, that's the end of this review, but I mean, something special. It's just a basic power supply with uh, some RGB, so yeah, I just like the modularity of it and uh, Corsair usually typically makes pretty good stuff, so alright, awesome.